Okay, in this video, this is designed for my high school uh, programming class. We're going to create a simple RPG. Uh, in order to do this, uh, it will help if you have a basic understanding of how to declare variables in Java, how to work with uh, looping inside of Java. Uh, you know, you should know how classes work. Um, and, you know, if you've got a basic sense of the programming language, you should be able to follow this. Uh, this role-playing game will be built to be expandable so that you can easily add to it without adding necessarily a lot of code. And, uh, well, here we go. So uh, on my GitHub page under Android Teacher, this is my GitHub name, Android Teacher, you'll find a repository called Basic RPG. And you can, you know, download it here or clone it. And it's got everything, um, all of the source files I'm about to cover here in this video. I'm just going to show you what we have in the video or what we're going to start with. You can download and get into uh, Eclipse. All right. So the, let's just talk about what's here. Um, I've got the simple RPG class, which matches my folder name here, project name. And I, I simply uh, create a game loop inside of our main method. And, you know, I'll initialize a few things before the game loop starts, but that'll probably be about all we'll do in the main method. And then game loop is simply just going to loop over and over again, and we can put what we need to in there. Once again, I'll probably keep that uh, to a fairly minimal amount of code right here. Um, we have a PC class, which is the player character, which we'll be implementing. Uh, it has very simple name, hit points, and accuracy. Once again, this game is built to be expandable, uh, so you'll be able to modify your combat and uh, really anything, any way you want to determine hits and damage and stuff like that. I'm just using accuracy and hit points uh, because it's, it's simple to implement for a tutorial. Uh, it's pretty easy to get creative there. I've got an NPC class, and this is going to be for monsters. And uh, it's got a string name, it's got a string ID. Now the ID for the, the monster and the item class, the NPC and the item class, the ID will always match the class name, all right? Because eventually we'll be creating these dynamically based on what the user wants to create, or we'll be dropping them in based on what we've asked for. And so having the ID match the class name exactly is an important component to this RPG. And I've already done it here because I know it's gonna be a rule. So string ID equals NPC. It's got a description. Uh, this would be what the user sees when the uh, NPC is in the room. So if it's a troll, it would say something like, a troll stands here. We also have hit points and accuracy. Item class, uh, same thing. I've got a string name. I've got an ID, which matches the class name exactly. All right. Um, we've got a string description. This would be what the user sees if the item is on the floor. Um, a flaming sword sits here. Uh, we have a boolean, which is uh, true-false, is wearable, and I set this default to false. Now, eventually, we'll be creating equipment the user can wear, and, uh, you know, we'll set that to true on any piece of equipment that we want the user to be able to wear. And then we've got a string called where loc, which is where location, and we'll be creating where locations within the items themselves. So if you create a new item and you decide, well, I want this to be worn on the third belt loop, uh, you don't have to go find out where, you know, the central where locations are. You can just create a third belt loop where location and it'll work just fine. Uh, so is wearable and where is it worn for the item? Uh, game objects. Now this is going to be a static class that's going to contain lists. Uh, we'll have all the NPCs that are available in the game. We'll have all the items that are in the game. Um, we'll have uh, lots of different lists here that we're sort of looping through and referencing and uh, we'll be pulling things out and placing them into inventories and stuff like that. But eventually, game objects becomes a static class. Uh, if you're not comfortable with the concept of a static class, that's okay, because it's one of the concepts that we'll, we'll be working with. And uh, by the time you get through this tutorial, if you don't know what a static class is, uh, by the time you finish, you certainly, you certainly should, I would think. Uh, and then I've got game logic. And this is where I'm going to try to put most of my game logic. Um, and so I've got a command called wait for command here, and it just says, what would you like to do? We create a scanner, SC. Uh, we scan whatever line the user types into a string, so they may type something like look space troll. And then I split that command up into an array, which I'm calling words here. And I split it by the space character so that uh, position zero in words would be look and position one would be troll if they type look space one all right and then I call process command and I pass it that string array 
Now, process command is going to be the only place in the game where we create a lot of if statements. It's going to be sort of our database of commands, and there's probably a better way to do it, definitely. But for right now, this will just contain like if x at position 0 equals look, call the look method. If, you know, x at position 0 equals attack, call the attack method. And, and you'll be able to look at process commands that way and see all the commands that you've created. Um, and that's a good way to start. And we could organize that so that you can create a text file that contains it and then just have one if statement here that reads from a text file. But I think we're going to keep this as a, as, a list of, um, as a list of commands just using if statements for this one. Okay, so once you go to uh, either, you know, type it out and create it manually, or the easy way is to go to Android Teacher and find Basic RPG and get this project imported, uh, we're ready to move on and we'll start making this uh, RPG work. We'll start with uh, character creation, I think.